So how do you manifest success and how do you manifest wealth or whatever you want in life? We've all heard of the secret of how you can imagine uh, something in your mind and visualize it and then, uh, and then it magically appears in your life. Well, a lot of people use that, but most people are not successful with it. How come? A lot of people do the thing that they learn in the secret, but they cannot succeed. And they've been doing it for years and only a very small percentage of people can say that they do it successfully. Well, I think is that missing the major building blocks of the prosperity pyramid, okay? Instead of focusing on the manifestation, they forgot about the other three levels of building blocks beneath it that you need in order to create that manifestation. So the first level on the prosperity pyramid is chi energy. Without chi energy, without the fuel to fuel your vehicle or to fuel your body, then your body will go nowhere. Just like if you had a car, it could be a Ferrari, it could be a super sports car, but without fuel to power it, it's not gonna go anywhere. So first you need to build that chi energy. There's many things that can drain your energy for, uh, though, because uh, there's EMF pollution, there's GMO foods, there's many things like radiation that can drain your chi energy without you even being aware of it. But there's also things that you can do to enhance and amplify your chi energy. For example, you can meditate, you can exercise, you can eat um, whole foods, you can be, eat organic, you can, be, um, you can do yoga. Uh, you can also use technology like the chi coil to help you to enhance your chi energy. So what you want to do is you need to build enough chi energy, stop the draining so that you can start gathering it and build it in your body as a life force. Once you have enough chi energy, then you can start to create the engine. The engine or the hardware that you need in order to create uh, programming. So the second level is the engine. So you use the energy that you've developed in the first level to power your engine. So just like a car with a powerful engine, if you had all those cylinders firing at the same time, all coordinated, or uh, all efficiently, then you're gonna be a very powerful person uh, having this hardware in your body. So what, is it, what do I mean by connecting them? Well, you need to connect your mind with your heart, first of all, which is connect your intellectual with your emotional body, right? Your mind, your intellect, with your heart, which is your emotions. When you can combine those two things and start to make decisions uh, with both of them, your left and your right brain, your creative and your logical brain at the same time, you enhance the capacity of your brain and enhance the decisions that you make. Well, what else is there? There's also your um, spirit and your body, right? How do you align your spirit and your body? Well, you need to start to feel um, uh, start to enhance your intuition and start feeling it in your body and being more aware of that. For example, uh, have you heard the saying, I have a gut feeling? Why do people say that? It's because um, their body is actually telling them, them something. We have actually three minds. We have our brain, we have our heart mind, and we have our gut mind. In Chinese traditional medicine, they have those three psychic centers, they call them. So when you can start to connect all those four pieces, all those four cylinders in your engine, or all those four mechanics in your, um, in your personal engine, then you become very powerful. So let's go back. So number one, we have the energy. Then you use the energy to power your engine. And now we have a, um, a car that can actually move somewhere. So what we want to do is now we have a direction. We have a map. So what's the map? The map is level three. Level three is programming. So imagine, um, so another analogy would be a um, transmitter or like a cell phone tower. Uh, you need the energy, you need a power source, and then you need the ha hardware of, of, uh, of the cell phone tower, and then you need to have a signal in or and a program in order to um, have a, some kind of um, code that will help you to program whatever you need to program. So the third level is called the program or the signal. And what you need to do is to have the correct signal because if you send the wrong signal to the universe then then you're doing yourself harm because then you're attracting the thing that you don't want but if you start sending the uh the proper signals out into the universe the, one, the things that you want then um those things will come back to you okay which leads us to level number four level number four is the attraction level and the manifestation level so when you can start to send out these signals of your intention from level three and it goes out to your uni universe, in level four, then you start to manifest and you start to attract
those things that you uh, program yourself with. So how do you program yourself? Well, there's many ways of programming. One very famous one is called Neuro Linguistic Programming or NLP, changing your speech patterns and changing what you say in order to change the internal mental programming for yourself. Another way to program yourself is through just training or um, training yourself or to practice uh, doing things that are uh, effective so that eventually you program your body and your mind to keep doing uh, things and behaviors that are effective, that work for you, instead of make, doing behaviors that are not effective. Okay, So that's the second way, is to train uh, and, and actually do those things. A third way to do it is actually to use electromagnetic frequencies to program your nervous system and program your brain waves, which is what we're here to talk about. Uh, what if you can use a technology that does it automatically for you? You don't even need to do NLP, you don't even need to do any training that automatically programs your brain waves and your nervous system so that it programs you for health, programs you for success, programs you for abundance. So that's what we're talking about at level three, is programming. And once you have the programming in, naturally you're going to get attraction, which is level four, and manifestation. It just happens because you have all those other three levels in place. So a problem I see with a lot of uh, self-help um, training out there is that they focus so much on the manifestation and on the attraction that they forgot about the other levels. They don't have the energy and they don't have the hardware. Why is it important? Well, just imagine that you want to send an intention out to the universe and you're a transmitter. You're like a cell phone tower, whatever you are. Um, if you don't have energy, then how strong is your signal and how far would that signal go? It probably not go anywhere. Most people are so tired and so weak and so much in disease that um, they just don't have the energy to send any signal out, okay? And then their hardware is, is not calibrated. They have pistons, they have their four pistons, their, and the cylinder is not, it's not firing properly. It's not balanced, it's not coordinated. So they start spinning in circles without making any progress. It's because you don't, they don't have the um, second level, which is the engine, which is uh, calibrated and which is tuned so that it operates in full, capa full capacity and full efficiency. So take a look at a very highly successful person and you can see that they have all these things in place, right? And they have the energy and the chi, they have the health that they need in order to develop the chi. They have the practices and their training in order to develop the chi or they may even have technology to help them to get the chi energy that they need. And then they also have the hardware, level two. They also were able to integrate their heart, mind, body, and spirit. You know, there's a lot of times we make decisions about business and we make the logical decision and it makes sense to our logical mind, but then our heart is not in it, our body is not in it, and our, and our uh, spirit is not in it. So what happens is we get, we may get some success, we may have failure, but at the end, what do you get? It's empty because you didn't really engage your whole self into it. So what happens, a lot of people, they focus so much on manifestation and attraction, and they may get success, but then let's say they lose their success, then their whole pyramid collapses because they never built the structure. They never built the chi energy. They never built the hardware. They never built the signal and programming so that they have this empty success. Like, let's say you win the lottery. The money gets given to you. You just got lucky, right? And then um, you may seem to have success uh, what other people can see. Like you may have a very fancy car or a fancy house or fancy jewelry, but let's say you lose that. Let's say that for some reason you lose that. Um, then your whole life just collapses because, because you don't have all those foundations in place to support, okay? But let's take a look at the, the other way. People who have built themselves up from the bottom, having the energy, hardware, and signal and programming to get the success. Let's say that they lose success. Let's say they lose that money that they built. What happens to their life? Well, it's still okay. They're still good because they were able to build that foundation and they, their life does not collapse. They are able to rebuild uh, and achieve uh, that success again because they had the foundation built in place beforehand. So there's three other things that support the prosperity pyramid. These things, three things are dreams, your environment, and action. So what are dreams? Dreams are what you want. Without dreams, then you wouldn't have the motivation and the inspiration you need in order to um, have anything that you want to manifest, right? So first, you need to have dreams. Then you need to have a good environment. What kind of environment uh, do you work in? What kind of environment do you live in? Uh, what kind of people do you listen to? What kind of friends do you have? Where do you work? And what kind of work do you do? And who do you listen to? That's your environment. 
And without a positive environment, then it will be very difficult for you to, um, to advance in the prosperity pyramid. And then finally, the most important is action. You need to take action. You actually do it in order to succeed in this. Okay? A lot of this requires, actually every single step requires action. Okay? You need to be able to do things to uh, track G energy and to build G energy. Maybe do some exercises, maybe do some meditation, maybe get a technology and turn it on. You actually still need to do that. Uh, engine hardware, you need to learn about that. You need to practice those things. So you need to take action in, before you can achieve any one of these uh, steps on the prosperity pyramid. So to sum it up, there's four things that are happening during this prosperity pyramid. The first level is energy. You're building your energy, you're gathering energy, you're raising your energy. Second level is integration. You're integrating different parts of yourself, your mind, your body, your heart and spirit, making more work as one. And then the next is projection. It's projecting your programming internally and externally. And then the last step is manifestation. And that's where the fun part happens is because now when you have those three things in place, things will start to manifest, um, coincidences will start happening and you start to get luckier because you have all those things in place to naturally with very little effort to attract the things that you want and to manifest the things that you have in your mind and have intentions for.